hello everyone so today we are going to work on this car racing system this is based on uh, the, the automated car driving system we implemented previously so today we are going to implement uh, AI overtaking other cars and then I'm gonna race with them so the other cars are driven by AIs and they do run fairly good I can easily beat them but still they can complete the race so this is what we are going to work on today let's wait for them to catch up Oh, let's take a shortcut and see how they are doing okay this car is all right so that's the preview let's see how to do this today So this is the current status of the project. These cars can uh, somewhat detect and avoid collisions and also they can go continuously in this road in both directions. So today what I want to do is implement in a way to overtake other cars so that we can simulate something like a racing car system. At the moment what happens is if they came across another car in front of them they just simply reduce the speed they are not trying to overtake they just simply reduce the speed that's all so right so first uh, to implement overtaking this is the AI car blueprint oh, okay. it's here so here in this cars we have this collider which detects the cars in front of it and that is used that is used to uh, set this incoming collision to true and when the incoming collision is true we simply reduce uh, deaccelerate so that's what happened in here so now instead of deaccelerating if the car is going in the same direction as the car that is going to collide we are going to overtake it so how do we implement overtaking so first we need to determine whether the car is going in the same direction as us for that here we can get the other actor mm. from the other actor let me get some space first from the other actor we can get velocity and then we can get direct unit direction vector sorry we can normalize this by normalizing we can get a directional vector and then um, hmm. let me collapse this so we have more space collision and overtaking right uh, now we have the other guys velocity direction and also we can get our velocity get velocity and 
normalize to get the direction now if we do a dot product between these two if we get a positive value that means we are going in the same direction if we get a negative value that means we are going on opposite directions so if this is greater than zero that true means can overtake okay if it is false that means we are simply going to collide the other car is coming on the opposite direction so here let's have a branch if this is false that means we are going to collide so we should break so at the moment i'm just gonna forget about could there be other cars coming in the other lane we are going to just forget about that and just implement overtaking now if that part is working when another car is in front the car should not break let's see so this guy is going to hit into the car in front no one is going to okay these two are pretty close oh yeah here see it they are pushing each other because they are not slowing down okay now that happens what i want to do is overtaking so to overtake just like this let's have another boolean variable overtake okay so by default it should be false here i'll set overtaking to true and after some time uh well i'm not sure how long it would take to complete the overtaking but i just put something like five seconds and set overtaking to false okay now we all and i have another get target point so this is what uh, this is what says the point that the car should go next so when we are overtaking we should have some offset from the usual path so here if we are overtaking oh, we need another addition here because we need to have an offset and here I'll use I'll mark um, this has to be a selection if we are overtaking this should be let's say point 0.5 but this will only work um, that also depends on the side we are driving so we need to have another no, we have to have this complete setup because we need to consider whether we are driving forward or backward and also we need to consider whether we are driving left or right because the overtaking um, offset depends on both those conditions so this should be instead of going to going for one i think we should go to minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 
right. Wait, should this be? No, it should be like this. Okay, now shall we test? So this car is max speed is 30. For this guy, max speed is 60. So he should be able to overtake that car. Let's see. Yeah, he did, but it's too close. That's becoming a mess. All right. What if I make it to 1 and minus 1 instead of 0.5? Yeah. When there are cars coming in front of them, it gets stuck. All right, so let's set all the cars to go forward for now until we improve our vertical rhythm. All of them are driving forward. Okay, they do, uh, they can overtake, but they simply don't have enough space. To start the overtaking so what we need to do is we need to make this a little longer perhaps something like this let's see yeah that seems to work But having some collision, I mean some collisions in a racing setting, we should be fine. No. <laughs> It has become a mess now. But it is working. Not very good, but working. All right. Another thing we can try is when we are overtaking, we should speed up. So, here. Mm. So, here we have a max speed limit in adjust max speed part. So, if we are accelerate, uh, if we are overtaking, we can do something like this this multiplied by something so let's select the float and here let's use overtaking so if we are overtaking i'll set the max speed to 1.2 otherwise let's keep one um, so here we are increasing the speed 20% right initially they are running into some issues but 
eventually they get stabilized those two uh, What's happening with those two? Okay, so we need a way to determine if we have fully overtaken the other car so how do we do that because here we are we disable the overtake variable after five seconds that may not be enough sometimes so what we can do is perhaps we can do some type of a line tracing to determine if there are anything else if there are any blocking cars uh, or wait we didn't consider the possibility of calling this twice so we need to have a do once here No, not to do once. We can turn this into a retriggerable delay. Let's see. We need to avoid this happening. Mm, okay. Uh, to prevent grinding on each other, what if we implement a system where the car who is behind breaks uh, if there is a collision happens? But how do we do that? Okay, here. <laughs> Does this have hit events? Simulation generates hit events, yeah. Mm. Where is the hit event? Okay, on component hit. Let's just test if this is working by printing the other actor's name. It doesn't seem to work. Or didn't any collision happen?
let me stop I'm sure some collision should happen here yeah they did but I didn't get an output why is that This is the hellish uh, event of the mesh. Let's check the basic settings. Okay, collision resets our vehicle, generate hit events. Well, even though hit event is not working, I just tried the overlap event and that is working. See? Where is the hit sir? Oh. Over there. Okay, so if this happens, I'll get the other actor. Get actor location and get actor location. Of myself and then we can get unit direction vector from my car or this car to the other car who just collided with and then uh, we can get uh, get the forward direction get that uh, forward vector of this and do another dot product so if this is positive that means the other guy is in front of me so I should break and I should um, so if this is larger than zero yeah set in common collision oh let's use a branch set in common collision to true wait Let's just directly set it without anything and see what happens. What's with these two guys? But apart from these two guys, oh, systems is it working? Yeah, this guy did an ISO overtaking.
See? Good. This two are still kissing. For some reason. Oh, I think this guy is very slow, so very, like significantly so slow compared to other cars. So that's what that's why it should be causing the troubles. Let's see. What is this car? Yeah, its max speed is 30. All other cars have max speed 80, 60. Yeah, something like that okay so now I'll set thirty I'll set this guys speed to 50 and some of them 60 now it should be less chaotic Apart from just nice overtaking, Okay, okay, now let me place myself a car and oh, we need this. This is a player controlled car. Let's process it player zero and let's go on a race. It should not be very challenging because I have set the max speed for AI cars. Oh, let's wait a sec, give them some time and try to catch up. Where's the other guys? Okay, let's go behind them. A very tight dress between <laughs> those two. Okay, let's see if this guy can overtake. Let's see if the red car can overtake the blue car. Looks like it's going to. Yeah, it did. Oh, not enough speed. Alright, uh, now let's make it a bit more challenging. 
by setting the speed of some cars hundred. Now let's see. break and see they are coming nicely I just want to see some car overtake another one Alright, anyway, we can do a race with them. Not very challenging, but we can do. What if we further increase the speed of some cars? This is mine. This guy. 140. Let's see what happens. is going off road they are not doing very good in the bends goes over the curve of the road and the bends all right so anyway i'm gonna stop this episode right here but i wish to do some more improvements to the system so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron clubs See you in another episode. Goodbye.